Galatian church. I marvel that you are soon, so soon removed from the gospel that which I have called you. Oh, that which God has called you unto another gospel. You see, we let too much people talk in our ears. Too much people tell us what they think about Christianity. Yeah. What they think God is expecting of us. Yeah. And we don't take our time to search out God. What God really wants for yeah. us. Oh, yeah. uh, we just feel comfortable with how we worship God. And how we pray and how we talk to God. Uh, we just feel comfortable with stepping into a church on Sunday morning. Uh, and living a life, amen, uh, throughout the week how we want to live it. Uh, never take the time out to see that God is calling us to give things and call it. Uh, that we're waiting for people to raise the dead and we should be the ones that uh, lay hand on the sick and they recovering. Uh, and we are talking about how come the preachers and the pastors not raising the dead. Uh, and we want them to call us every moment. Uh, want them to call us every time we seek. Uh, if the pastor don't call you, uh, ah, Jesus, uh, have the pastor come to see you yet? Uh, ah, Jesus, uh, does the pastor know you in the hospital? Uh, so the pastor must be everywhere at the same time. Uh, and yet the pastor must come to pray for you when you sick. Uh,
in the church like business as usual. My God, uh, the book of Second Corinthians says, uh, you are not straightened in me. I can't
Hallelujah. We go in at our home and we say, Father, finish all my money. But the children of Israel, if they were comfortable with Egypt, they would never be. So Egypt had to give them reason to live. So the world had to give you a reason to come out of it. My God. Hallelujah. And we take the same trend as the children of Israel. Let's say they They come out of Egypt. And God made them make his out of Egypt. But yet still, they pitch the tent in a little place. And they just have to stay here. And they feel it comfortable. Some more pairs of shoes than those of your people in the house. You feel like 
you have some more dresses that those of you like you that I keep on in the house. Anybody at ease in Zion, you feel confident that everything is well made and dressed up. So you have to perform. You have to compare with the world. That's what she did. She went to see the daughters of the Philistines. She went to hang with them, to roar with them. But what she didn't know, that the daughters of the Philistines are not the daughters of the house of Israel. Are not the daughters of the servants of Jacob. Jacob had servants and they had daughters. But the daughters of Pharaoh, of Jacob's servants, they had respect for them. They had respect for who she was. They knew who her father was. They knew who her mother was. So they had respect for her. But the children of the Philistines, they didn't know her like they really ought to know her. You see, the world won't know you like they really ought to know you. That's why when the young girls walk on the street, Young people in here, big and old, middle aged, that have 
pitch their tent near Egypt. Yes. The children of Israel could have gone to the promised land a long time. Long time! But because Egypt had played a psychological role on them, my God! For the Marshall preached it well. Egypt had overpowered them. Although they could have defeated Egypt, Egypt made them feel they were smaller than Egypt. So when they got to the promised land, when they got to the wilderness, they had the same mentality that everyone is greater than them. So God sent them to spy the land and they came back and said we are grasshoppers before them. But if you believe God, what God has promised you, you don't fear no man because you recognize that the same God that brought you out of Egypt uh, is the same God that is telling you that is your place. That is that is your dwelling place. You need to get up from where you are and check your position in God. Nobody can take it for you. You have to get up yourself and fight. Oh, the good fight of faith. That you might lay hold on it. How did the prodigal son know? That taking his father's inheritance mm -hmm. and going down to a far country. Mm -hmm. How did he know that he would wind up eating swine food? Mm -hmm. how, how did he know that? He didn't know that. Because nobody can live for him. Nobody could warn him. Mm -hmm. So the Bible says, send for the women of warning. Send for them, uh, the women of willing. Let them turn a lamentation. Let a cry come out of the air. Let the people of I feel God heavy here. I feel God heavy here. I don't I feel God heavy here. Hallelujah. 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 Say not that you have arrived. Say not that you have arrived. Will before God. Mourn before Him. Let a cry go out in time. Hallelujah. Let your bubbles of compassion be moved. Let your soul reach out to the chain. Don't be at ease in time. Death has crept into the house. Death is crept creeping in to our children. And if we don't open our eyes, if we don't want to shout before God, we will shout before Him when we see that death is creeping, is tracking them. When we see them and we pass them on the road, we put ears pets. When we see them on the road, we reflect. When we see our boys on the street and their risks are broken. Oh, Jesus!
and we let video games bury them for us. We let Hannah Montana dress them for us. We let PG teach them for us. Hallelujah. Aye. Hallelujah. 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 Parents must give an account. They will give an account. Don't think God will hold you on them guiltless. You will have to give an account. Because the Bible says train the children in the way they should grow. I don't tell you uh, that they might depart. And if they depart, the Bible did not say that. Uh, anybody that tells you that tell them the devil is a lie. Uh, the Bible says train them uh, in the way they should grow. Uh, that when they are home, uh, they will not depart. Uh, you are the children being the parents. Uh, and the parents being the children. Uh, the parents are slaves to the children.
your spoke to idolize some things in your life. Why is this a be done? It's not the great when he made Jesus. Oh Jesus. Hallelujah. It's not the great when he made Jesus. Oh shame. You make something priority in your life. Ah, that's where God is. God is saying that thing was made priority in your life. Yeah. 
king that betrayed me to the But I want to be betrayed.